Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys the latest updates that were pushed on the beta channel for the 3 and the 3T from OnePlus. The beta 10 for the OnePlus 3T and the beta 19 for the OnePlus 3 brought in some new optimizations to the launcher. Also some updates into the UI and a better experience as far as using widgets. This is TK. Let's go ahead and check out the updates to the beta channel. First and foremost, you do need to be on the beta channel, which means you do have to have a beta version of the operating system already installed. If not, this won't work and you need to be able to switch over. I'll give you guys a link in the description below. The main benefit that you need to do is go directly to the OnePlus site. You can download the update manually and it's about 1.49 gigabytes. Again, open beta 10, this is for the 3T. It was released on the 4th of July. Some of the main benefits that we're gonna see here, support for dynamic icons, weather and calendar, Added home screen layout under the setting. I'll show that to you guys. Grid layout uh, with uh, keep interactive with the display size changing. Uh, added history for search. Uh, newly installed app will have a blue bubble on them. You can access the icon packs directly from the Play Store within the launcher. User interface improvement during widget selection and launcher version is now displayed within the settings. A few other customization added the option to display battery uh, percentage on connected Bluetooth devices. The OnePlus widget is now added in there. You use not used in the shelf, but you can use it on your home screen. Email address recognition within text uh, messages content. So if you find an email address, press it, it's gonna automatically highlight it to send it to email to it. Size clock, which is now are adjustable and then updated system UI for the clock. Last couple of things here, smart ca uh, callback works much better now. Um, incoming called uh, rec animation is more dazzling than ever. Of course, that's anyways, dazzling. Uh, OnePlus font uh, optimization, compatibility optimization. Installing the update is very simple. You can definitely download it directly from the link that I'll give you guys in the description below, and then go under system update, and then under settings, go local update, and then you can locate your file. Once you select this, install it, it's gonna automatically reboot, go into the recovery, apply the update, and then come back out. That's really the short end of it. They do recommend you doing a side load option on the website, which means you turn off your phone, go back into the recovery, you select English, connect it to your PC and then side load it. I find updating it directly within the system is much easier. You just have to make sure that it's saved to the root part of your hard drive or your local uh, storage and you're pretty much set. Other than that, as far as the settings, I'm gonna go through real quick with the launcher. The launcher interface changed a little bit. When we go into the settings now, we have multiple tabs. We've always had the shelf, we've had the swipe down action, App shortcuts, of course, those are the things that you press and hold. So those things are still available. Um, icon pack now is customizable directly within the actual launcher. So I can go from default, go to dives, uh, Riffin, and you can actually download additional uh, icon packs. So in this situation, I downloaded Silhouette, which is what you guys were watching. And you can go directly to the Play Store with an option to be able to have them filtered for customized, either free, S8, Samsung, black, white, uh, Xperia, uh, MIUI, all of the different functionalities. And then you can, of course, sort for them. And it'll give you the sorting and you can install. And of course, I installed the Dark Glow from here. And then um, I think right there, here's Silhouette Icon Pack. Going back to the home screen, you can see it. You can change it on the, in real time. So press and hold, go to Settings, Icon Pack, and then you can change them. Unfortunately, you can't mix and match. So this isn't gonna be as compatible, let's say if you're in Nova or something like that, where you can have an Icon Pack for each icon but it's still nice enough that you can customize it. And then once you have it selected, hit back, it takes you there. The launcher version is 2.1.0. Home screen layout has also been updated now, which gives us the ability to change the screen layout. It doesn't give us the ability of customizing it, let's say, you know, five by six or a 10 by nine or something to that effect. But you do have the ability of going between small, medium, and then high. And it's dynamic in the sense that it shows it to you on the screen exactly how it's gonna look like. You can also change the icon size from small, medium, or large. Um, I also wish they would have given us the option to remove the labels because I usually don't like to have labels on my icons, but you can't do that yet. Um, other than that, this is pretty much the main benefits of the launcher. Going back in here, just you can customize it, change your lock screen. Now, of course, we have the swipe up, swipe down. Those things are still there. Um, the ability to press and hold and initiate actions, similar to the Pixel launcher, is pretty good. It works mostly on most Google applications on the launcher. Um, it does work with Twitter and I think also works with Instagram. Nope, doesn't work with Instagram. So. It works with some, not with everything, but it's still very nice. The launcher is pretty much uh, very similar. You, you saw the uh, icon pack now also includes, or the, some of the main benefits is, as I as you see here, the uh, dark glow 
app. I just installed it. You see there's a little blue bubble next to that that indicates that it's a new app. That's also one of the new customizations that they did. You'll notice at the top part of my screen, I have a Bluetooth device. Let's go ahead and create this. I guess you can't see it in there. There's a Bluetooth device connected and that actual now has also a small battery next to it telling us how much battery level I have. And what I'm basically using it is my just my normal Bluetooth headset. This is an LG Tone uh, headphones. So it also syncs with it, gives you the ability to see in the battery. Last but not least, this little widget at the top is actually a OnePlus widget. So we'll go in, we'll go into the widget section. All the widgets are installed. Uh, we also, by the way, have the dynamic calendar. Here's calendar, it shows you that this is July 4th. Uh, it will change as the day goes on. This is compatible with the Google calendar as well as the OnePlus. But again, the uh, going home, going widget, Going all the way to the bottom, we have the OnePlus widget. Again, this is a weather location-based widget. You can press and hold it, bring it down, and then you can add it. Of course, it's doubling up here because I've already customized it. Uh, you can interface with it. It takes you into the weather application. It'll update, and you can change some of the settings here as far as uh, going to Fahrenheit, humidity level, weather alerts, of course, and about. I have to say the update to the UI is definitely noticeable in the launcher because that's basically where you start. So having some new functionalities, the ability of updating our icon packs, the grid size, all of those things are nice. And I'm only hoping that they're going to keep pushing this and giving us more customization. The ability to removing labels, the ability to even go customizing your uh, grid size even deeper than just three presets. I would like the ability to basically say, I want to have a, you know, a seven by five or a seven by six or even a nine by five. Something to do whatever custom look that you're trying to do within the launcher and they do have those functionalities They're adding more. There's hopefully a lot more coming down the pipe Let me know what you guys think in the comments below again the link in the description below to be able to download the beta version of this So you can just download the 1.5 gig file save it to the root of your device Go in and do a local update and it will apply it now be aware once you go into the beta channel You'll start receiving regular updates So you want to be aware of those things and if you want to just switch back to the normal one Go in and download the latest download stable update, install that, and then it'll take you back into the normal channel. But I think betas most of the time are pretty stable. I haven't had any issues with the beta channel. I've been using it for the last six months. Um, it just gives you access to cool things ahead of everybody else. Now, hopefully this will also make its way to some of the other devices like the OnePlus 5 and we'll definitely get the benefit there. If you're using a custom launcher, this isn't going to impact you as much as this is mainly intended for the Oxygen OS launcher. But definitely the optimization for the battery percentage as far as Bluetooth connected devices, um, the application of widgets, those are things that are built into the UI. So you're definitely going to enjoy those. And of course, animation updates and customizations there are going to be good. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.